Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and I'm gonna be covering the team of the week content, or the not team of the week, team of the year content. Uh, as you know, you could buy a bundle today, and you would get a team of the year item, either a player or a collectible. Obviously, all the players are not up on the auction block, but I think probably all the collectibles are, and a decent chunk of the players are. So we'll go over those here real quick, real quick. Like, if it would load here. All right, here we go. Um, let's see. I don't want to do it that way. Let's do it this way. Come down here. They added the team of the year slot here on the uh, the programs. So we'll go over the collectibles actually first. You can see some of the players there, but we're going to go over the collectibles first. Um, so you got the Rams punt return fake out. You've got the Antonio Brown kick to the face. And you know what? Why didn't they put that on his football outsiders? Like, can we can we be real here? Why can't that be on... I, I would buy that Antonio Brown card, no matter how bad it was, if that picture was on the front of the card. Let's be honest. That was like my screen... That was like my wall. Now I'm like the lock screen on my phone for a while. Uh, we got Beastquake 2.0. Uh, we've got Gronk Catch. That's real descriptive. Thanks. The Gronk Catch. Is that the one versus Denver? Like, oh, thanks. You know, Gronk Catch. That's real helpful. Like, at least I know what these were. Like, you can see the Cardinals jerseys, even though that wasn't very helpful. Everybody knows the Antonio Brown kick. Everybody knows that Rams fake. The J.J. Watt 80-yard uh, pick six. Like, they named this one. They just named Gronk's the Gronk catch. Manning touchdown record. Uh, Bar touchdown record. Or touchdown return. Not record. Hester kick return record. That's what I was thinking. Uh, the Beckham catch. Like, everybody knows what this is. Why do we give... Why do we have to go lazy with Gronk and just put Gronk catch? <laughs> like, the Beckham catch makes sense. Everybody knows what that is. But, like, Gronk catch, we're just going to be lazy? Like, it's got to be that one against the Broncos. Uh, but then you got that Brent Grimes one-handed interception was dirty uh, on Calvin Johnson. And, um, let's see, are there any more? Are there any ones that are rare? I don't think so. Those are all the, those are the biggest plays, like, we're just going to no-sell some of the other people, like, you know, oh, DeMarco Murray, you know, Brady just broke record, uh, who else, who else had some interesting crap, uh, uh, let's see, I don't know, my mind's a blank, but there were obviously, these are good, pull I'm not giving, I'm not saying any of these don't belong, but I'm just saying that's all the collectibles that they made. Like, what are they going to go for is my question. But I'm not paying some ridiculous price to buy them out to have them be worth nothing. To have them, like, go into something stupid. But uh, those are the collectibles. So those are the part that not many people care about. Let's get into the stuff that people do care about, and that's the players. I'm going to do it this way, see if I can get some more stuff to show up by going all offense and all defense. So the first card is the Travis Frederick. I'm not going to go too in-depth with their stats, uh, just because I'll probably do a video later going over them a little bit more in-depth. But 98 run block and 92 pass block, uh, 88 awareness, nice, and 93 strength, and 92 in-block blocking. So pretty good center. I don't know if he'll replace Dominique Raiola. It depends on how much he's going for. Uh, next, the linemen and Big Ben are the cheap ones. Uh, it's Clint Bowling, 450K currently. He's a left guard. Uh, 93 strength, 96 run block, 94 pass block, 93 impact blocking, and 85 awareness. Pretty decent stats. Um, if you're wondering why I'm saying the awareness, uh, supposedly awareness like helps with them to pick up blitzes, or if two guys, they block the one that makes more sense. Uh, they don't just stand around like idiots, even though every offensive line, it just happens. Your linemen are just dumbasses, and they'll just do stupid crap. Um, but yeah, that's why the awareness is actually kind of important. So, uh, Ben Roethlisberger, uh, probably won't be picking this up, but Big Ben, uh, with 98 throw power, 96 throw accuracy deep, 92 throw, really, really 88 throw accuracy deep. Dude, Big, Big, Big Ben's just a suckier, <laughs> Big Ben, look at, look, other than Vic's throw accuracy short and mid being ass cheeks. The the, the the Vic, for like a whole hell of a lot cheaper, is Big Ben. Except Big Ben's going to have higher trucking. 
Where is that? Yeah, that's about it. He's probably got better carrying. Because I don't know what Vic has ass cheeks of Magunda chair carrying. Cherrying. He's got bad chair. I don't know if Vic has better cherrying. Um, Marshall Yanda, which I probably will be picking up because I didn't see any right guards I really liked. But I do like this Marshall Yanda that's going to come out uh, with his 96 strength, 90 awareness, 95 run blocking, 92 pass blocking, and 92 impact blocking. Definitely a card I'm interested in picking up. Uh, just not for 500k. Uh, Jason Peters is the next card. He's got 97 strength, 90 awareness, 97 run block, 94 pass block, and 90 impact blocking. Definitely a card I might have to look at picking up as well. Uh, don't have any interest in this Greg Olson. I have my Gronk, and so I'm not really worried about this. Uh, 91 speed, 94 catching, 93 release, and 94 catching traffic. 84 route running, not too bad. 74 pass blocking, not bad at all either. Pretty decent tight end. Uh, next, uh, never mind, we already went over Travis Frederick. <laughs> next is Sebastian Vollmer, which I will be picking up. I'll just be upgrading my uh, my 89 Sebastian Vollmer that I have now for him. Uh, and so Sebastian Vollmer, uh, 97 strength, 87 awareness, 90 run block, 98 pass block, and 88 impact blocking. If that would have been anybody other than Sebastian Vollmer, probably wouldn't have gotten it, but just because he's a Patriot, I'll pick him up. Uh, next is Jordy Nelson. Uh, well deserved. He hasn't had a card since what was that week one or, or week two? Was it week two that he or week three that he got his fantasy? I don't even know. Uh, but he's got 95 speed, 97 catch, 95 release, 95 route running, 99 catch and traffic, and 96 back catch. Damn, this card is good. I might have to consider. I don't know. I don't know. My wide receivers are pretty legit. I don't know if I want to trade that in. Uh, next is Antonio Brown going for a, one, a cool mill. And he's 96 overall. He's got 96 speed, 97 catching, 98 elusiveness, 95 spec catch, 93 release, 96 route running, and 98 catch in traffic. Uh, and then you got DeMarco Murray. Well deserved, even. Doesn't he have a 97? No, is it 95? What is it? It's 96. Why? EA. This card can't be that much better. It cannot be that much better than his, like, 96 overall one or whatever. Uh, but he's got 96 speed, uh, 95 XL, 94 carrying, 97 ball carry vision, 93 elusiveness, and 98 trucking. I'm not saying DeMarco Murray deserve, does not deserve to be on the team of the year. But if they're not going to make any 99s on the team of the year, they needed to give it to players that didn't already have a high overall card. That's why I'm assuming they gave it to Greg Olson, not Gronk. Because Gronk was the best tight end, not Greg Olson. Antonio Brown and Jordy Nelson, yeah, I get that. Uh, Des Bryant had a good year, though. Um, who else? Demarius Thomas had a good year. So did Emmanuel Sanders. Uh, I would have liked to see Emmanuel Sanders over Antonio Brown. I get the team of the year, but they didn't make any 99s, so you can't make you can't put like Aaron Rodgers on the team of the year because you're as a 95. Like that's my logic behind why I didn't put Aaron Rodgers. And that's my logic why they didn't put Tony Romo either, because they both have 95s. And that's why I assume they put Jordy and Antonio, even though those two really deserved it. But that's definitely why they put Greg Olson. So that doesn't make any sense on why they put DeMarco. It just doesn't make any logical sense, because I thought they were trying to... Because they even tweeted out saying that they weren't going to give it because there's still NFL honors and Super Bowl cards. That's probably why there's no Seahawks. Uh, I don't see any Colts. There's only one Patriot, and there's one Packers player. So, I guess that makes kind of sense, but I don't know why they made the Jordy Nelson card, and they're not going to make a Jordy Nelson Super Bowl card. I don't know. I'm going to stop bitching, but that's just, I'm just, just saying, saying. But, uh, Elvis Doomerville, definitely, uh, definitely a card that, that I, I'm, I'm okay with this one. Uh, but 88 speed, 95 excel, 91 tackle, 93 play rack, 91 block shed, 97 pursuit. It's in one zone, so you're going to want to blitz him or put him um, as a D-lineman. Or play a 4-3. Or, yeah. Yeah, you know, you get my drift. But decent card. Only going for 200k. He'll probably be pretty cheap. Eventually, Calais Campbell. Only going for 300k. Uh, but he's got 80 speed, 86 excel, 93 strength, 92 tackle, 90 block shed, 97 finesse move, and 85 play rec. Um, I don't know, I haven't really tested this out, but according to most people, 
power move in Black Shed is what you want. Finesse move is kind of not great, so uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, next is the Mario Williams. Uh, he's 96 overall. Uh, 88 speed, 93 strength, 93 excel, uh, 84 tackle, 89 block shed, uh, 97 power move, 90 or 80 finesse move, and 85 play rec. So not a terrible card again. I like how they gave it to Joe, Har Joe Hayden and Chris Harris Jr. Uh, that's really, really good. Um, they didn't give it to Sherman or Revis. Good job, EA, not giving it to Sherman or Revis. Or who else has a high? What other cornerback has a high? Avante Davis, any of those guys. Good job not giving giving it to Joe Hayden, whose highest card's in 93 still, but maybe this Joe Hayden Jim in 96. And Chris Harris, whose highest card is a 90, I think. Uh, we'll go over Joe Hayden. Joe Hayden's stats are pretty good. I might actually get this card. Wish his press was a little higher, but 94 speed, a 98 man, 95 zone, 93 press, and 89 play rec. I'll just show you kind of in comparison how he stacks up against like Woodson and Revis. You can see he's got higher man cover than Woodson. Same man as Revis. Uh, the press is kind of more relaxed against Revis. He's got higher press than Woodson, but Woodson is faster, has better excel, and better awareness, better play rec. Um, but this Hayden does stack up now. Obviously, I don't know like the tackling situation. You know, the catching is not is not terrible. Wow, Woodson has 80 feet catching. I don't even know is that. Um. His tackling could be better than a 60. Uh, where is hit power? I want to know his hit power. Pursuit, all that. Where is... Hit power is an 81, so that's not bad. That's higher than Woodson and Revis, so actually that's not, that's not bad. That Joe Hayden's not bad. I might pick him. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Antoine Bethea is not the one I wanted to see. I did not want to see his mug as a strong safety team of the year. I don't know who else should have gotten it, because Cam Chancellor's not getting the card. Because they're going to do something with Super Bowl Master. They're probably hoping that the Seahawks win. So they can do like Super Bowl Master and we can get that Cam Chancellor that I want. Uh, but for now, it's Antoine Pathé. Uh, I've been asking for more strong safeties because we only had one. We only had Ronnie Lott. Then we got Eric Berry recently in that ultimate freeze. And then we are now going to get this Antoine Pathé. I kind of wish it would have been another strong safety because his stats are pretty not that great. Uh, 93 speed, 90 excel, uh, 88 play rec, 82 tackling, 88 zone is just terrible. Like, let me throw this up against a 93 overall major right. Look, look at look at major right hanging. Look at look at major right can hang. He's got better excel, better play rec, better zone. His hit power is only down by one. Like this Bethay is not gonna go for much, cause it's not that good. And honestly, it's just not that great. Unless his catching is, like, off the charts. What's his catching? 73. Eh, not terrible, but I don't know. Just not my cup of tea. Von Miller getting Team of the Year card. He hasn't had a card for a while, so kind of makes sense. But uh, 92 speed, 96 excel, 92 tackle, 88 play rec, uh, 93 block shed, 95 pursuit, and 77 zone. The one thing I would have liked to see them do is make one of the linebackers a coverage linebacker, opposed to having them both be pass rushing linebackers, but that's just my opinion. Next is Chris Harris. He's got 95 speed. Uh, 97 man, 96 zone, 93 press, 90 play rec. So all in all, a pretty good card. We'll take a look at his catching. Catching's at a 73, so not not terrible. Uh, next is Luke Keekley. We'll see how... Well, I'll actually compare this up to his 95 overall. Uh, so speed went up two, up two in strength, up one in tackle, up one in play rec, up two in block shed, up one in pursuit, up two... Or up four in zone coverage, so... Just keep that in mind before you buy this card for some crazy amount that the 95 Luke Keekley is like 70k. So I would just keep that in the back of your head. Uh, his catching went up one. I would just keep that in the back of your head. Just, just, just don't pay too much for this Luke Keekley because it, it honestly can't play that much better than this 95. It, it just can't. It's just not that much better. But, yeah, just, I just want you guys to keep that in mind. Uh, Glover Quinn, zone defense, 96 overall free safety. No, we can stack him. We'll stack him up against Ed Reed. My oh boy, Ed Reed. Ah, he doesn't even compare. He's got better tackling. 
Only I never had Ed Reed miss a tackle for me, so then... I don't know why Ed Reed's tackle was 76, because I'm pretty sure Ed Reed tackled better than that. But, um... Glover Quinn, 88 hit power is not terrible for a safety, because you could get someone like Devin McCourty here who's got 65 hit power. Um, he's got pretty good zone. Not great man, but most safeties don't, other than McCourty. This 90 man, he's such a monster. Uh, 95 Excel, what's his catching? He's got 82 catching. Reed's got 87. Reed's just a ball hawk. Uh, but, yeah, these Team of the Year cards, they're pretty good. Um, the Glover Quinn's not bad. I don't know. The Keekly would have to be like 200k for me to even consider buying it, because not that much of an upgrade. Von Miller, I don't think I'm going to pay some crazy price for a pass-rushing linebacker. Uh, Chris Harris... Is good. So is Joe Hayden. Both of those are viable cards for people to pick up. Mario Williams, not bad. Campbell, pretty good. And Doomerville, that's actually not a bad price for Doomerville. It obviously shows him that he's going to go way down, but but it's whatever. Uh, I might actually consider picking him up and use him as a pass rusher. Uh, for the, we'll go back to the offense here real quick. Uh the friend, all the offensive linemen were good. I would kiss her pick those up. The right, who's not up? Are they all up? Left tackle? Yeah, they're all up. All the linemen are up. Uh, Big Ben, that's going to have to go down a lot because he's like somewhere between being a running quarterback and a passing quarterback, but he's got crappy throw accuracy deep and can't really run with it. I don't know. I don't know. I, just, I don't know. I don't think I'll pay that much for a Big Ben, to be honest here. Uh, the Greg Olson is pretty darn good. Actually consider picking that up, but I have the Gates and the Gronks. So I don't have a use for him. Jordy and Antonio Brown, obviously beast cards worth picking up. So is the DeMarco, but I take a look at that Football Outsiders DeMarco. Uh, see what price you can get him for. See if you may pick up the 29 out of 100 DeMarco. That'd be kind of cool. Or 29 out of 50. I don't even know what he's number two, but... Uh, sorry, it's kind of a long video, but had to go over the team of the year. I'll probably go in depth a little bit more once the promo is actually released for official, which what I would assume would be in two days and 16 and a half hours because that's when these legend packs will expire and they can throw out something to really steal people's money, like ultimate packs. We could throw they could throw some ultimate packs out. Or Game Changer, something like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, guys.